the great softness vein. The great softness vein lies in the superficial fascia and it is easily seen. The vein is the longest vein of the body and represents the preaxial vein of the lower limb and it is also known as long softness vein. Now let us talk about the course of the vein. The great softness vein is formed on the dorsum of the foot by the union of dorsal venous arch of the foot as well as the medial marginal vein of the foot. The vein runs upwards that is approximately above 2.5 cm in front of the medial malleolus where it crosses obliquely the medial surface of the lower third of the tibia and then ascends little behind the medial border of the tibia to reach the knee where it lies on the posteromedial aspect of the knee joint that is about one hand breadth posterior to the patella. From here it runs upwards along the medial side of the thigh to reach the saphenous opening which is also known as fossa ovalis. It passes through the saphenous opening after piercing the cribriform fascia where it drains into the femoral vein after piercing the femoral sheet. Now let us talk about what are the tributaries. At the commencement of the long saphenous vein, the medial marginal vein of the big toe is the first as well as important tributary at the origin and in the leg as you can see over here the communicating veins between the small saphenous and deep veins and another important one is the posterior arch vein. It is fairly large and constant. It collects the blood from posteromedial aspect of the cough as well as they drain small venous arches which are connecting three medial perforating veins of the ankle. They are nothing but called as ankle perforators. And just below the knee, anterior vein of the leg is an important tributary which extend diagonally that is upwards, forwards and medially across the shin and joins the great softness vein. And there are like few smaller veins which arise from the cough and which communicates with the small saphenous vein. And in the thigh, the vein is called as anterolateral vein, where it commences in the lower part of the front of the thigh and joins the great saphenous vein in the upper portion of the thigh. And another important vein is the posteromedial vein, which is also called as accessory saphenous vein. This posteromedial vein commences especially from the posteromedial aspects of the thigh where it joins the great saphenous vein and sometimes what happens is it may also communicate below with the small saphenous vein. And just before the long saphenous vein piercing the cribriform fascia, it receives the following tributaries like superficial epigastric vein, superficial circumflex iliac vein, superficial external pudendal vein. And these veins accompany the corresponding superficial branches of the femoral artery. And just before the termination of the femoral vein, the deep external pudendal vein drains the blood into the femoral vein and it is considered to be the last tributary of the long saphenous vein. Next is valves in the great saphenous vein. There are approximately about 10 to 20 valves located in the great saphenous vein out of which we are going to discuss only about important valves which are responsible to prevent backward flow of the blood. One of which lies before it pierces the cribriform fascia that is just before the termination of the vein into the femoral vein and other one which lies in the junction between the femoral vein that is saphnofemoral valve. And this particular saphnofemoral valve is of extremely great functional importance because it lies about uh, 3.5 to 4 centimeters inflolateral to that of the pubic tubercle and approximately in 80% of the individuals the external iliac vein 
possesses a valve which protects the saphenofemoral valve against high venous pressure. And approximately in 20% of the cases who do not have this particular valve become the victim of high venous pressure and develop varicose vein. Let us talk about the clinical importance in which the first one is the veiny section of the great saphenous vein. The great saphenous vein in front of the medial malleolus at the ankle is the most preferred site for veiny section in emergency conditions where the superficial veins elsewhere in the body are collapsed and invisible especially to insert the cannula for prolonged administration of the intravenous fluids. And another important uh, function is about the vein graft. In coronary artery bypass surgery, especially to relieve the ischemia of the myocardium, a segment of the great saphenous vein is sectioned and used for the IO2 coronary grafting, especially to bypass the arterial obstruction. Due to the presence of valves, the vein has to be reversed so that its valves do not obstruct the blood flow. And this is what we need to know about long surface vein.